all right guys let's go ahead and get right into it now this is a waterproof case for the note 8 samsung note 8 now my first impression is why would you make a waterproof case for a phone that is water resistant but when you think about it this is a thousand dollar investment and this will give you a added sense of security this um case right here would allow you to drop the phone and have shock resistance or shock proof up from 6.6 .6 feet and it also allow you to go 6.6 .6 feet into the water it boasts that it would give you that extra protection now once we get into the box they give you a little card explaining the proper technique to get the s pin out you guys are going to see later on in the video when you don't use that technique the struggle to get the s pin out and they also give you another little quick starter card or some quick information about the case you have this little accessory bag go ahead and open this up and then the inside you will get a tethering scrap also get a micro cloth cleaner and you get the installation manual alright guys now you know I'm not that big on reading instructions unless it's a drone I always recommend that you read your instruction manuals whenever it's concerning a drone here are the cutouts at the bottom and you can see that everything is sealed and I must say that they've done a real good job man I really had to get my fingernails underneath there to pry open the cutouts and you can see the different cutouts right there and that's for your S pin see that little whole thing that's how you would get your S pin out alrighty so we have that now I'm not a big fan of this plastic screen on the front nor in the back it just feel flimsy you know obviously I know they probably didn't want to go with glass but I think they could have went with a more sturdy or plastic but then you get into the realm of touching the screen currently on my phone I have the pelican case and this really add a nice layer of security for my note 8 I mean look at that phone man that's just a beautiful phone why wouldn't you want to protect that look at that screen y'all whoo I love this phone I have to be honest I love it so let's go ahead and line everything up in the case just say what I said people just line it up get it ready to snap on now I want to show you guys the grooves that's in the inside you see you have two different levels you have an outer groove and an inner groove want to make sure that you line the phone up in the inner groove and then you want to go ahead and repeat the process you just want to lay that on top everything is cut out to the exact specifications the exact specifications so have no fear alrighty got it now you want to use a little elbow grease right here you want to go around the phone clamping everything down and I must say once you get everything clamped down this thing really has a nice grip on it I mean once it's sealed, you can tell that it's sealed. You see how that rubber just overlaying right there? So I, I'm a firm believer that, hey, this phone will withstand the meters that they say it will be able to go down in the water. This on um, fill alone. All right, guys, go ahead and put my S pen back in. So I want to conduct a few tests. How does it feel in the hand? Can I operate my phone with this case on? Uh, I must say that it's not too heavy and you see my S Pen right there now if you try to take the S Pen out you will not be able to get it you will have to use the little front part of the rubber that I showed you earlier use that to snatch the S Pen and pull it out if you try to do it with your hand like I try it's going to be a struggle so here's the test let's press the home button boom very responsive you can test this little plastic screen alright let's do a little typing on there put in my little code to get in there alright and let's see how responsive this screen is so you can see I'm touching no problem um, do I, I mean I must say I'm impressed even though I'm not a fan of this little plastic cover screen like I said they had to do that so it can be responsive to touch which it is so I'm impressed by that and you guys can see me just playing touching how it's responding so that's one of the things sometimes you get a tempest screen on your phone eh, you have a hard time you really got to press hard just to get a message to somebody you message into typing is not the best surfing the web is not the best so once again I understand why they had this thin little layer of plastic right here when I press 
my volume up, my volume down. I don't have that big of a struggle that I have with my, my Pelican case. My Pelican case, I really have to press the buttons on there to get my volumes up and my volume down. Because it's, it's such a thick case. And it's so stiff. I really got to put a lot of force in it to um, adjust my volume. But this right here, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing to it. Beautiful display once again, can't get enough can't say enough about that i'm not i'm not through with the fingerprint reader in the back because it's again it's just a, a thin layer of plastic in the back i over time i'm thinking that that little fingerprint reader would that plastic will start to degrade i mean that's my opinion well, overall i think it's a nice case nice extra added protection and the screen is very responsive i go ahead and give this five stars out of five Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification button so you can be up to date with all of my latest videos.